Procreate is awesome, but the lack of a folder structure means it can get pretty messy pretty quickly. If you want to learn how to take your stacks from this to this, you're in the right place. I've got a simple trick that I'm going to teach you right now. Hey there, welcome back. If you're new, my name's Lori, and on this channel I cover all things digital planning, art, creativity, and productivity. If that sounds good to you, make sure you stick around. Today I'm going to show you how to create beautiful, organized stacks in Procreate. Until a new update comes around with a full folder structure, stacks are what we have to work with in Procreate, but there is a way to keep them organized and looking great. It's a simple cover photo. Here's what you'll need. An iPad with Procreate. Of course, as of this filming, Procreate is iPad only. And you'll need some kind of software to design your cover photos. I'm using Canva for mine, but you could use anything from Affinity Photo, Design Publisher, to the Adobe suite of Photoshop, Illustrator, or InDesign. Basically, anything that you can use to create some kind of square photo or design will do. If you need a place to get started, I know blank pages can be a little intimidating. You can grab my free Canva template for Procreate stack covers in the link in the description down below. The first step is to just map out ahead of time what categories you already have in your stacks. If we did have a folder structure, what would those folders be called? For example, mine are planners, trackers, artwork, and stickers. Then you can even map out subcategories, like I would have digital planners and planner accessories under my main planners category. These main categories are what you will use to establish design or color themes when you're creating your Procreate covers. Subcategories could be indicated by icons, text, or other design elements. The next step is to set up your design in the program of your choice. I'm using Canva. Let's set up a custom size of 2048 by 2048 and create a new design. You just want to make sure that it's a square. That's going to help it look nice in your stacks. Using the categories you set up earlier, you're going to start creating a main cover template for each main category. For example, in mine, I have four different colors. Once you're happy with your design, you can duplicate it as many times as you need for each stack in that category. Here's what my covers look like. I have four different colors for the different categories that I set up earlier. I have planners, trackers, artwork, and stickers. As I went through my stacks, I noted what each one already was named, and that's what these are down here. And then I just put a little icon there. I wanted to keep the design fairly simple and clean, but have a theme running throughout. As you can see, these design elements are on each one. And then I've changed the icon to match what the category is. As I went on and organized, I found that I needed a little bit more sub-organization within my stacks. So what I did is I ended up putting a little thumbnail of what was within these sticker sets. And that just helps me visually as I'm looking through my stacks to see what is within them. Once you create a design that you like, you're just going to need to download it from Canva or whatever program you're using. You can export it or save it. For Canva, we're gonna come up here to the share icon in the top right, choose download, and you can choose JPEG or PNG. PNG is best if you're going to download something that has a transparent background. Since these are all solid, I'm just gonna use a JPEG because it's gonna be a smaller file size. And you're going to download as many as you have. I've already done this, so I'm not going to re-download them to my iPad, but that's what you do. You choose whichever ones you want, click done, and then choose download. And then they will be saved to your photos. And here they are. I have all of my Procreate cover photos in my photos app here. The next step is to actually load the cover designs in your Procreate stacks. When you look at your stacks in Procreate, this top image that you see is always the one that is the first place in line within the stack. And if you push and hold on one of these, you can drag these around and move them into different spots. Now, as you can see, if I do that, this one is going to pop into that top spot, and that's not what we want. I'm going to get rid of this one just so we can see how this works. All right, so now as you can see, this stack looks very different from all the other ones. It looks a bit messy. I'm going to go ahead and put the cover art back onto this one. So go ahead and go into the stack, choose photo, and then we just need to find that cover art. This will pop you into the actual artwork itself. So just hit gallery to go back, and there you go. Now when you go back to your main gallery, you can see you have your beautiful cover art here and everything is organized. 
You can repeat this for all of your other stacks that you want to put covers on. If you need to rearrange your actual stacks, just simply tap and hold, and then you can move them around. Now there is no right or wrong way to do this. Just do what works for you. My way may not make sense for you and vice versa. Thanks for joining me today. I hope it was helpful for you. If it was, I would love it if you took a quick moment to hit that like button down below. It really does help my channel out a lot. I would love to see what you create and how you are organizing your Procreate stacks. So make sure that you tag me on Instagram and I will see you in the next video.